are you thinking? Ah. This was one of the, 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 the kind of biggest, but sort of first and, and actually the last TV, TV project I've done at the, at the minute. And it's amazing because with television, you work so quickly that I was like, this is like, and, you, and you're sort of a bit more in and out. Sometimes you have a couple of days off and you come in and then when you do it, the, the schedule's so quick that that scene was like, you know, you're building up to the big scene, the big argument scene and, you know, the fight scene and yada, yada. I mean, you deck James Franco, you put a pistol in his face. I mean, you seem like a lover, not a fighter. Did you enjoy being that physical? Because I mean, ah, yeah, you guys got yeah. down and dirty. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. good. I love I love those scenes in, in films, you know, because <laughs> you know you're safe. That's why I wouldn't do them in real life. And you hired a dialect coach and listened to bluegrass music, right? To get that yeah. Kentucky accent. An amazing woman named, named Miriam, who's still a dear a friend of mine who was really really helpful for that but I remember like as well I hopped in the car um uh, when we because we filmed we actually filmed in Canada and then we filmed one week in Dallas for all the bits that you can't fake of you know of, of Texas and um I met the, uh, Tommy the, one of the one of the, the drivers on the on the on the job he picked us up on, from the airport and he was this great guy and he had a he had a cowboy hat on and then this car pulled out in front of us and it was massive like you know only in America would you get a car that big and I went, man, look at the size of that. And he went, yep, everything's bigger in Texas. 